All right, in this video, we are going to explore a niche that you might be interested in. Now, not the one that I'm gonna be sharing with you here today, but maybe you have one that you're interested in and you wanna start offering products within your Etsy brand. So, let me show you how you can do this. The very first thing that I like to do is go here in the search and just start putting in gift and then follow it with whatever your niche is. So gift for, let's say, nurses. Okay, so gift for nurses or just nurse, all right? And then what's going to happen is we're going to start seeing some of these search numbers from Everbee that's being pulled in, but now we're also able to see all of these different suggestions from Etsy. This also allows us to see what potential products or potential areas of the niche that we'd be able to possibly zone in on. So as you can see here, we have gift for nurse graduation, gift for nurse, that's just a little bit more broad, gift for nurse students, gift for nurse practitioner, gift for nurse graduate, gift for nurse mug, gift for nurse preceptor, gift for nurse shirt, gift for nurse physician assistant. All right, so those are all related to that niche. So the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is this right here because this is going to give us a good idea of other areas of the niche. So this way here, we know that we're not just going after, let's say, gift for nurse graduation. There's other things that people are buying for a nurse. And then the other thing that you're gonna notice is a lot of those suggestions are also right here. So even if I didn't go into the search bar and I didn't get those recommendations and I just typed in gift for nurse, this is what I'm going to see at the very top. And the reason why I'm seeing them here they're putting up these suggestions for someone that is searching for a gift for a nurse, and they're giving them recommendations off of popular searches. So that's one thing that you definitely wanna do. But the cool thing is, is when we're looking at it here with Everbee installed, we can see some of the search traffic, which also gives us a good idea of the demand in this niche. So the first thing that I would do now that I've got my results back after I put in gift for nurse and I would just go ahead and start looking at this page, right? These are all of the different items that are gifts for nurses. Well, here's what I'm gonna do using Everbee. I'm gonna go right here to product analytics, and then I'm going to go here and make sure that we're sorting by total sales. That's generally where I like to start. And then I'm going to just go through here and see some of these items. So you can see here we have tumblers, then this one here looks like a piece of jewelry for a stethoscope, which is pretty cool. And then we have another tumbler here, and then we have some pens, and then we have, again, another piece of jewelry there. We have a candle, all right? So all I'm doing here is kind of looking at all of the products at a glance, and I'm looking at them from total sales. Now, in some of the other videos that I've already done, you will see also how I analyze this data, and that is going through, okay, how many monthly sales, uh, we're looking at also the listing age, we're looking at the favorites, and we're looking at the views, and also the shop age. So all, those are all of the things that I'm going to be looking at additionally. Now, looking at all of these, and looking at all of these numbers, I would say, yeah, there's probably some good demand for gifts for nurses, but let's look a little bit more specific. So let's look at the tumbler because that's something that probably we would wanna sell if we were going in this niche because it's a print on demand product and that's what we wanna sell. And so what I wanna do now is I wanna dig in deeper here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to be looking at estimated monthly sales. There's 298. Estimated monthly revenue is 4,202, and then total sales is 6,890 in 23 months. And it's got 6,166 favorites, which is really good. And look at that, 154,261 reviews. So that one there is selling very, very well. Let's look at another Tumblr from someone else. And this one here looks like it might be personalized. So let's go ahead and click in on this one and the estimated monthly sales here is 115, $2,639 in monthly revenue, 4,929 total sales, and it's 42 months old. So this one here, still selling pretty well, but it's an older listing. So that would also lead me to believe that there's more than one person or shop that is selling these types of tumblers, which is good news for us because there's a lot of demand for just this one product. 
Now with print on demand, we're always going to be looking at types of shirts. So let's go ahead and let's look at this one right here. So this looks like it is personalized and it looks like it has a stethoscope on it. And that one there, if I just look here, the monthly revenue on that is $7,004. There's 203 monthly sales and the total sales is 6,942, which is crazy. And the listing age is 34 months and it's been favorited 8,402 times. Now, here's the other thing that I would wanna do because right now, the time of recording this video, we are approaching Halloween. So let's do something else. I'm gonna go back over to the search and I am going to type in Halloween shirt for, and I'm gonna put in nurse. And let's go ahead and see what we come back with. So here we are with all of the results for Halloween shirt for nurse. But what I like to do, and I did another video showing how to use filters, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it again here. I'm gonna go into filter and I'm gonna go into the product name that I wanted to include nurse. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I only wanna see products for a nurse, all right? So you can see now that's what we are looking at. So we have Boohoo Crew. We have this one here, which is a, a nice little patch pattern that says nurse on it. And then this one here and then this one here, and that one there. So let's go ahead and look at some of these numbers. Well, 2016 total sales, 34 months old, and let's see, 56 monthly sales. So there's pretty good demand already, and we're not even into the Halloween season yet. This one here, 1,419 total sales, 24 months old, and it looks like 57 monthly sales in the last 30 days. That's pretty good as well. So these are how I am looking at a niche. And this is one specific item, by the way. But in the very beginning of this video, I showed you how I looked at all of the product selling. And that really gives me a good sense of the demand for this market. And also, if there's a lot of different types of products selling, and it looks like there is. So that is how I would look at a niche that you're interested in. Those are the steps to follow. Make sure that there's enough demand. So this way here, you can launch more than just one type of product. And it's important to look at a niche and see if there is also products being created for different times of the year. In this case, like Halloween or Christmas or fall, Thanksgiving, those types of things. All right, so hopefully this video helped you. I'll see you in the next.